this Friday. Raced Wednesday night, give people an idea. We race this car a week Saturday. Sounds like loads of time. Tomorrow morning I go away to Nigel's meeting for two days. So I've basically got Bank Holiday Monday to change this into a running driving banger. Hmm. Monday. Got it running and driving. Quick splash of paint around it. Um, as you've probably seen, I only do have an open sided barn, so jealous to all you people with workshops. So, just been hand painted, you know, old school paint. Turn the music down before I get told off for playing music on YouTube. Um, don't have to paint the cars, do have to paint the roof. Uh, I do like to paint them though. I just think it looks smarter if all the cars are painted. It just looks neat. That doesn't mean you have to have them sign written or anything. But you do have to paint the roof, which leads me on to my next point red roof. Had two or three questions now about the roof grades. So, uh, been trying to think the easiest way to explain it. So, here goes. Um, it's the exact opposite of Formula One. So, the fastest car doesn't start at the front. So say this is the start line. Dusty Micra, for example. Rather than being your Max Verstappen starting at the front, they'd have to start at the back. So, if this is the start finish line, your white tops will line up here. They're your new and inexperienced drivers, haven't had a lot of success, just starting out. Once they start doing better, maybe have a win or a second or a third, score a few points, you'll then have yellow. Yellows will be here, just behind the whites. Then your blues will be over here somewhere. And then Harry's currently a red, so he starts here. Roughly nearly half a lap behind the white tops. Then you do have a superstar grade. They start here behind the reds. Now, at small field, you don't have a superstar grade. At Speedworth, you do have a superstar grade, but they start in with the reds. At Kings Lynn, which is track star, reds and superstars are separate. Superstar is like last year's points champions, the best drivers, the ones that are leading the points at the moment. Harry's currently a red. We've been, ev we've been white, yellow, blue. We've been red. We haven't made it superstar. Be nice to get there before he ends in juniors, being every grade. Um, You'll also have in amongst superstars with last year's points champions. So at Smallfield, for example, last year's points champion's still racing. So he then starts at the back for every race. It's, it's what you do and it makes it the um, makes it fair, makes it challenging for them, but they've earned that right by winning the points last year. So that's going to Kings Lynn. Um, I can't find the misfire that he had in the final yet. Um, so that's going to be something I'm going to try during the week. I want to do oil and filter change, new set of spark plugs, but I want to try and find the misfire first, because otherwise I won't know if I've cured it. But I can't get it to happen yet, so I'll try a couple more times, then if not, it will get those bits. Um, I've got a couple of bits to do. I know it's one of the rear shocks is pretty rotten, so I'm going to change that. It's not a very nice car, like rust-wise, um, but a splash of paint, don't look too bad. Bonnet bolt's done. I need to put the harness in, which is currently in the Eastbourne car over there. Uh, and then I've got to get that ready for the week after. So still a fair bit to do. Um, and it's Monday. But my enthusiasm is lacking. Went to the Nige meeting for the weekend. So very tired today. Little bit hungover, I suppose. Having had a few beers. So looking forward to uh, going home and having a quiet one. But I'm going to get a little bit more done. And then uh, hopefully it's a couple of evenings in the week and we'll be done. Uh, Wednesday night. Put the Smallfield car on the truck, that's off to the repairers. Uh, more on that when I get to that, but the front sort of fell off it. I needed to do two more meetings. It needs welding and straightening and stuff, all a bit beyond my capabilities. So, it was off to the repairers, which you will see. Car for Kings Lynn. As you can see, after battle, we're being in the dark. Uh, hopefully found the misfire. Ran it up, left it running five minutes and it died. Battery's packed up. Put another battery on it, tried it down the lane twice, seemed okay. So, change the oil and filter in it, uh, tidied up the wiring, different battery. Uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. Um, hopefully, that's getting dropped off tomorrow. Do a little bit more on that and then load up Friday, or that's the plan. But it's now gone eight o'clock, it's dark, so it's time for home and food. Evening loaded. Uh, the rod has at another yard down the road. I'll cover it in the next video. 
uh, but it's with a mate for repairs um, so we'll show what they do good mate very good at what they do so it just needs the front putting back on it because it sort of failed a bit it's did a bumper delete in a bumper in a bump and um just the front's a mess nothing's joined i just need two more meetings out of it but it's beyond my capabilities i can't weld i could get it straight but i can't weld this car's done threw some new spark plugs in it today had a near miss so pulled it up on the ramp thought there was a clonking on the steering had a look and i hadn't done the bottom arm bolt up on the passenger side so very grateful that the bolt that had no nut on it stayed in the car doing the uh, lane test but there we go lesson learned check that that's what you get for rushing car's done it's not a nice shell but it's there um changed all the bits i want to do battery come home reverse charge it throw that on when we get to the in the morning when i get here and then sort of 140 odd miles up to lynn for i think the sixth meeting there this year track harry loves so we'll see what it brings it's about four o'clock friday we're here it took about four hours to get here because of dartford been the scrutineering all done uh split eats top 10 into the final don't get top 10 then you're in the consolation top 10 from that then go into the final then an all-in all comes at the end of the day harry's in heat two which is literally race two out on tracks so we've got about an hour till it starts done all the bits and pieces so i think we're set let's see what the day brings didn't he was nearly a lap down for it again so to get 10 from 25 or so cars and get in the final was good so he's qualified for the a final he's just going out now that'll be about a 30 car race so we'll, uh, it's fast out there tonight and it's hard from the back but we'll go and give it another go we'll just keep chipping away that's all we can do we're here it survived a little bit of tracking and we're good to go so see what the next one brings 